Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over some technical analysis on a couple of stocks, uh, including Triple E and F, Tesla, and then we'll take a look at IQST and then uh, probably won't go into ZNOG because we already know a lot about that. We know where the bottom's at on the 180 day, four hour time frame. And uh, we're, you know, continuing, continuing to bleed. So we're just going to kind of leave it at that for now. And then whenever there's some price action, we'll go back to that <clears throat> or some news. Uh, maybe next week we'll take a look at it to see if there's any drastic changes. Okay. So triple ENF guys, 88 energy had a huge spike up from two cents all the way up to almost three and a half cents. Uh, we are super overvalued right now. We have a couple of red doge candles, which typically signals that we're going to see some type of reversal in price action, uh, AKA a pullback. Okay. So, um, I would, I would watch going into next week if there's no type of news or announcements from the company that this thing could push down and retest uh, two cents, uh, 0 0.027. If it breaks below that, then you're going to go down to 0 0.024. Your current resistance is a little over three cents. As you see, we, we popped our head above there and we came back down. So, um, the, but the good thing is, is we, we're kind of battling back and forth. We have a lot of volume coming up for triple ENF. So it's like pushing back and forth. It's like, am I going down or am I going up? I do think if it goes up higher, then we're going to see a pretty significant drop in the price temporarily until they announce uh, they're going to spud their second well. I do think, uh, again, even if, if it's a pullback, it didn't have to be a very big one. It'd be really cool if it pulls back here and then bounces off of this level and then shoots back up. That's going to show a very, very healthy sign of price strength moving forward and a continuous move to the upside for this company. So I'm super excited about this one. The more I find out about it, I uh, currently don't own any yet. I was going to get some and then it shot up super, super high. I did own some at one point and I sold for a uh, little profit and I've been looking to get back in that last week of January. So I'm hoping next week it plans out. It pans out exactly how I wanted it to is it will dip a little bit. I'll get my position and then hopefully they announce that they're spudding the well in February and then this thing will go bananas. Uh, to kind of, you know, ride the wave up there. Uh, next up, guys, we're going to look at IQST, ticker symbol IQST. It's IQS tail, actually, the company name. And um, <clears throat> we hit a low of about 48 cents today, and we're starting to kind of pop our head back above water, uh, trying to get back in, you know, above uh, that 50. Uh, we're actually above 50 cents now, 51, almost 52. So this is a good sign right here that we're bouncing off of 50 cents. I think that uh, if we do you know, kind of consolidate around here, that's okay. But I think easily we pop our head above, you know, 61, 62 cents over the next week or so. Uh, this is a pretty big beat down that we've been uh, dealing with. Uh, so your first level of support is 50 cents and you have six, about 62 cents, then 70, then 78, 88, then a dollar five, which we hit uh, recently. So you, you see this thing just went straight down, <laughs> just like it came straight up. So that's why uh, it's important if you know if you're doing a swing play, make sure that you take profits at the top before that it comes down. But also if you're looking to buy uh, average down or do an entry, uh, this is this is whenever you would look to kind of get in because the MACD is starting to transition from bearish to bullish. Uh, RSI is showing almost undervalued, and this thing has been beat now like it stole something. So I think that would be a decent buy at these price levels out here. Uh, next up is Tesla, guys. I bought some more today, and then next week if it continues to fall. I'm going to buy uh, one or two more shares down here at the bottom, about 900. We're fighting back and forth. We're trying to stay above 950. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting to see exactly what happens uh, the rest of the afternoon. Currently, it's on, it's 1 o'clock, so a lot can happen within the next several hours. It would be a good sign if we can pop our head above and get uh, closer to like 980 and before the market closes. I know it's a stretch, but uh, for Tesla, it's not that big of a stretch. So this thing is super volatile. So if we don't, then I expect next week we could potentially fall down and test at 900. And then, boy, we better hope that earnings are okay and and, and meet expectations. Because if it doesn't, and that's going to be kind of scary. So uh, a lot of analysts saying that they're super bullish on earnings. Uh, they, I think today we had a lot of people put in some puts. And uh, there was an article that came out and talked about that, uh, that there were a lot of puts on Tesla, which is expecting the price to go down. So I think that uh, people kind of got freaked out and started selling more. But the good thing is if earnings come out and we start moving forward, 
and all those people that are shorting, that's going to make the prices go up more aggressive, more more aggressive to the upside. So that's something to kind of keep an eye on. Anyway, guys, I want to give you an update on these three stocks. Let me know your comments below. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next video.